All right, people, this is Sakuraba1982 here coming here from the UK with some more carp fishing simulator. And although it's carp fishing simulator, you can actually fish for predatory fish along the lines of perch, pike, and catfish. So under other baits, this is newly uh, brought in in the uh, update because this is a game in the alpha. It's currently in development. If you scroll down, you've got dead bait, mackerel, smelt and sprat so i'm going to go with mackerel on my first rod on rod two we're going to go with uh other we're going to go with a uh, sprat uh smelt and on rod three we're going to go with dead bait again and we're going to go last dead bait which is <laughs> garlic sausage that'll get me a lot of pike wouldn't it and on the feed Hook bait chopped, hook bait chopped, hook bait chopped, hook bait chopped. Um, I like the idea of the, the chopped hook bait because it puts a lot of blood in the water and means that it's going to attract the fish without overfeeding them. So we go with number one. It's a rod number one. Let's go here and get rod number two. I'm just going to chuck that out right in the middle as far as I can go. There we go. So that's rod two and I'm going to whack rod three out here by that docking area there we go not quite there we go number three now the biggest pike I've ever caught was when I was a boy uh, my dad was teaching me to fish and I caught an 18 pound pike uh, that was amazing. I was only about five years old at the time, so it's an absolutely amazing achievement for me. I was very happy. I'm just going to chuck out the spod rod now, which allows you to cast um, bait into your swim. See, bait in the swim attracts fish. Sorry for teaching anyone to suck eggs now. So we're going to go right out there. There we go. We're currently fishing in the summer months. Um, traditionally, you know, pike fishing is a winter thing, but you know, you can get plenty of pike in the summer as well. Um, one of my greatest memories when I was growing up uh, fishing was I was probably about 11 or 12 years old and I was fishing with a whip. Now, a whip, for anyone who's not familiar with fishing, is basically a short pole. You know, with a pole, we kind of have a tap you attach the sections and, and you know just push it out and and uh, present your bait very delicately a whip it literally doesn't have that extra length it's only about six feet long in the summer i was fishing a swim catching little roach of about half a pound you know three four ounces having a great time and i was i was just catching another roach just pulling it in i was just about to lift out the water and this massive big set of teeth come out front and they thought this big pike grabbed the roach and I was fighting this pike, trying to eat this roach. Only for about 30 seconds, but I had a two pound breaking strain line. And it was absolutely amazing. It's really, really good fun. You know, it's one of those memories that you kind of look back on as a kid, as a fond memory. Um, and it was just, just really good. You know, um, I've got, I do like predatory fishing. I mean, you've got perch as well. Perch don't grow very big. I mean, you get sort of a three, four pound perch. You know, that, that's a big perch. You know, they're, um, you're they not going to get a much bigger than that. You know, I don't think the British record is much over four pound anyway. Uh, pike grow much bigger than that. You know, 20 odd pounds, you can get a pike. Um, an absolutely terrifying predatory fish. I mean, um, you just got to, if you ever held one when you've caught them and just look inside that big gaping mouth with those teeth. That must be an absolutely terrifying prospect for any, you know, small fish trying to get away from that. But, uh, okay, guys. Pop my headlamp on. Because I've changed time of the year to January. It's middle of the winter. And it's quite, um, it's quite dark. It's quite cold. Perfect time to fish for predatory fish. Let's set up here on this swim. And we're going to go into tackle box. 
Bates Rod 1, we're going to go Other, and we're going to go with a Sprat. Mackerel, Sprat. I quite like Sprats, I think they're nice and... Uh, nice and oily. Let's go with a Sprat again. Three, Bait, Other, Sprat. And we're going to get the rod. Just going to cast it out. There we go, that's one out. Two out. Get the third one out as far as it'll go. There we go. So let's get the uh, bait boat out there to put some bait by this swim here, by this uh, peg here. Can hardly see the poxy thing actually. Um, assuming that's close. So we've got a little bit of snowflakes here, that's pretty nice. Um, so we're just going to wait and see if we can get a bite. Hopefully we can. Apparently I've had two line bites already. Straight in, look at that. Right in the reeds. There we go. So that's worth changing time of year to January, guys. Just going to see how much this rod... No, it's got a nice bend in the rod. Oh, it's got a big bend in the rod. I think that's actually a pike rather than the perch this time. Let's just bring her in. That's got a lovely bend in the rod. Okay, let's just come this way a little bit. And he is making a run to the right. So it's got a nice bend in the rod. That can't be a small fish. Let's see. Come on. Nice smelly sprat. That's the way to get a, a good, decent fish in. So let's go back a little bit. It's running, isn't he? Let's just put a bit of pressure on him. Too much. Wonder if it's a perch or if it's a pike. So the amount of bending that bearing much a carp rod, I'd imagine it's probably um, a pike. But let's just try and wipe it to the net. Wipe to the net. Wipe to the net. Come on. Don't lose it. Urgh. In you go, in you go, in you go. Come on, not quite got there yet. Pull him to the net, pull him to the net, come on. Guy's oh, still going. I need to put him on a short. Come on. Short, there we go. Ah, oh, look at that. Finally. Guys, ten pound, three ounce. Pike, look at him go. Look at that beautiful creature, absolutely beautiful creature. Be really happy with that, guys. Finally got him. Clem, wonderful spot. And the cool thing is, you press L. Uh, I, sorry, is it L or I? Come on, it's to release the fish now. There we go. And off he goes. There we go. My first pike in carp fishing simulator. This is my boomstick!